The entire journalism industry is basically in a free fall. Oh no, not the entire journalism industry. It looks like the consequences of their own actions may have finally caught up with them. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish, and that was Taylor Lorez whining about the collapse of establishment media. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Taylor's worked for the New York Times and works for the uh, Washington Post, and she's the one who doxed and harassed the owner of Libs of TikTok, which is basically just a popular Twitter account that reposted insane liberals on social media. So you can imagine why Taylor would have an issue with it. Uh, she's basically just an awful person. <laughs> anyway, here's her struggling to cope with reality. Today, the Los Angeles Times laid off 115 employees. They wiped out their entire DC bureau in an election year. They laid off pretty much all of their sports teams. They killed their entire tech and business section. They laid off breaking news writers, social media editors, the list goes on. But what's really dark is this is just the latest in months and months and months of layoffs in the media industry. In fact, tens of thousands of journalists have been laid off in the past year. Major media companies like Buzzfeed News have completely shuttered their news operations. Time Magazine also just laid off a ton of people and oh, Sports Illustrated basically shut down last week. Pretty much the entire digital media ecosystem that myself and a lot of other millennial journalists came up in has been completely hollowed out. BuzzFeed, Time, and Sports Illustrated, not the only sources of truth and light in the world. <laughs> uh, for the record, Time has been in decline for years. BuzzFeed was basically a rumor mill that propagated stuff like the Russian P-tape hoax. And Sports Illustrated, you mean the magazine that went from using supermodels to a plus-size women, men in bikinis, soccer players that hate the country, and a Martha Stewart for some reason? <laughs> Radio is essentially dead aside from NPR, which has been gutted. Meanwhile, hundreds of workers at Condé Nast, the parent company of pretty much every major magazine from GQ to Vogue to The New Yorker to Vanity Fair are on strike because they're also facing impending layoffs. Even mainstream national media outlets owned by billionaires like The Washington Post, where I work, and The Atlantic, where I used to work, have done layoffs. If you're a young journalist today, there's almost no on-ramp to traditional journalism. Even if you do get a job, journalists' salaries have been stagnant and even declined. And by the way, we don't make that much to begin with. I don't think people understand how bad the world would be without journalists. Yeah, there's no on-ramp because you guys set it on fire. Congratulations. Have fun getting a job with your journalism degree. Oh, wait, you don't have one. I mean, the basic fact of the matter here is that the vast majority of these jobs were complete garbage. Uh, they were biased news aggregators with no opinions or insight of their own. And you know what? Uh, we have AIs that can do that now. You know, maybe you guys should take your own advice and do what you told blue collar workers to do when they were losing their jobs. Learn to code. But let me know what you guys think. Is Taylor blowing things out of proportion? Will the loss of Sports Illustrated be a big deal? <laughs> do you care at all about any of these people complaining about their jobs? Let me know in the comments. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Boy!